hey, this is a great little project where we are going to be making a, f a flower and practicing with the duplicate tool. So everything I'm going to do here is just going to be a sphere. And you'll be impressed at how quickly this thing comes together. The sphere gets stretched out a little bit. And what I'm going to do with it is change the color. And I'm going to use this duplicate tool. This is my favorite tool. So I've got the sphere selected. I'm going to click on duplicate and I'm not going to click anywhere else. I'm not going to click off to the side. I'm only going to do something to the sphere. In this case, I'm just going to rotate it one little bit. Now, if I go back up to the duplicate, you see how it says duplicate and repeat? Well, it's going to repeat what I just did. Make another copy, turn it, make another copy, turn it. And we already have a little flower here. Now, whenever I duplicate something like this, it's a good idea to highlight it and group it. That was the group button up here. And I've got this shape. That's a flower. Well, check it out. If I make a copy of that and bring it up a little bit, what I can do is scale it down. And I'm going to actually hold the shift key, scale it down evenly. This can set right on top of what I just made. And if I make it a different color, I already have something really cool. So now I've got kind of a yellow shadow going around an orange flower. I'm going to drag another sphere in here. And this one's going to get narrow. And I just want to show you how creative these can get. There's so much you can do with these. This flower idea. Change the color. Now, of course, we could go around and make the same shape. But I'm going to add a couple more shapes to it. Let's add a cone shape. And let's go ahead and get the work plane up here, too, somewhere. So I'm going to add a cone shape. Add that to one end. And let's see. Let's, we could do a cylinder shape here on the inside. That'll look cool as it goes around. We could always tilt it and give it some really crazy looks too. Red. Make it smaller. If I just go with this, I just want to show you what it looks like with what I have right now. Okay, now I need to select this piece and this piece and this piece at the same time. I'm going to hold down the shift key and then I can click whatever I want to select. I'm going to go ahead and quickly group it so I don't have to do that ever again. Oh, it all turned red. I can go here and hit multicolor. Well, now if I go back to duplicate and repeat, I can do the exact same thing. I'm realizing I didn't put this in the middle. Let me see what it looks like as I make it. That's a cool look. Let me undo it quick. Try to get this in the middle. Stretch it out longer, perhaps. Let's try that one more time. I like that. That's a cool shape that came together. Now you saw how I added three shapes into one. And here's what I added to make this piece. But we can take a look at some other practice ones that I've made. This one, all I added was white and orange. If we go over here, not much to what I have here. It's just a yellow blob and an orange blob rotated around. I like how the yellow made a nice little ring in the center of that one. This white one, you can tell what I already have without even looking. But that's just a green and blue bit. Now if you stay tuned, 
this gets even cooler because the, the creativity part of this is just phenomenal. Okay, here's what I just made. I can add a vase really easily to this. It's, it's incredible how easy this vase is. If you've watched this long, watch the next 15 seconds because all we need is a scribble and I just want a flat top and you can just do whatever you want in the middle and give it a bottom. Okay, so here's my vase. I'm going to rotate it up and we're going to make it the exact same way we made the last one. Rotate, or I hit duplicate, give it a click, over, and as it spins it fills out all the details. There it is. That's a pretty wild one. Okay, you can see some other examples of vases that were made the exact same way. The, the trick that I find works the best is to have a flat top and a bottom. This face has this flower on it. If you notice this cactus over here, well good, let's make one really fast. It's pretty cool to put one of the flowers on the cactus itself. And you'll be surprised at how fast you can actually make this thing. Here we go. I'm starting with a cube this time and stretching it out <clears throat> making it taller there is this slider here where you can round off the cube round it off a little bit doesn't honestly matter all that much how much you do we're gonna put the pokies on it the the needles by grabbing the work plane throwing it on there and I'll use the cone as the needle I'll scale it down a little bit, stretch it out, that's perfect. I'll make it white, I'll turn my cactus green, and the duplicate button is really good at multiple things. In this case I just wanted to move it up in a line. So I, I clicked on it, I hit duplicate, now I'm moving the duplicate up, I'm not clicking anywhere else. And if I hit duplicate again, it's going to just jump it up. What's cool about it is that you can actually have it go around a corner for you. So in this case, I'm going to click off, reset this a little bit. I'm going to hit duplicate. In this case, I want it to rotate a little ways. I want it to move up. want it to move up and I want it to slide down in a little ways. Let's have it rotate a little bit more. So now when I hit duplicate again it will do that again. That last one doesn't look very good. Let's bring the work plane to the top and let's just take this one, duplicate it, move it over a little bit. It's slanted a little bit but will survive. There we go. Alright, there's the pokey sides of the cactus. This one's got really massive. Maybe I'll make the green a little wider so that it's not quite so overpowered. Now there's going to be a problem we have. If we just try to grab this and rotate it the way it is with the duplicate button. So I, I highlighted all of it. I hit the duplicate button. The problem we're about to have has to do with where the center is. When I, when I added the needles, the center got pushed over. Now I could just add needles to the other side. That would be a simple solution to this. But you can see that it got covered up while it was rotating. To, there's one easy way to fix this, and that's to add a little bit of floor over here to the bottom left. So down in the bottom, now that there's a little bit of, there's something, before the center was here and it was rotating around here, once we group this together, now the center is back here and this won't be able to cover up all of this. 
So let's try this one more time. I'm going to highlight all of it. Hmm. Let me try it again. Highlight all of it. Click duplicate. One rotation. That is not a friendly plant. What, what could make it more friendly is a flower. Let me group one of these flowers that I have already ready. Group it up. I'll pull it over. Get it to the size that I want it. I'm holding the shift key so it stays about the same. There we go. There we go. So it's a cactus with a flower on it. I think it's a good time. It's a really fun project. It's great for creativity practice. What a lot of people will do, and I've seen this in hundreds of students, where I'll show you how to do something, you'll make one and think, oh, I get it, I understand. But what you, what you find out is, as you try new things, you, you see something accidental and you see something that can just work. Today I was teaching this lesson in class and something really cool happened. I was just trying to show how to use the duplicate button and what I did was I flattened down a sphere and I said, okay, you need to have this thing selected. Hit duplicate. I shifted it forward a little bit, shifted it over a little bit and I rotated it. And I thought it would make sort of a, just a spiral. But wait till you see what happens here. As I was teaching this in class, I got this funky shape. And it looks so scaly and it looks, it looks like a dragon tail to me. And now that I've seen this and now that I've made this cool thing, I've got more ideas for what I can make. And the creativity just feeds itself. It gets bigger and bigger and bigger over time. So. The reason we do this creativity challenge in innovative arts class with the flowers is that it's really fast, especially with the vases, to, to see that it doesn't take a lot of skill to make something that looks awesome. With the flowers, there's just so many different ways you can finish them. I didn't bother to put anything on the ends of these flowers, but if I simply put something on the end of the pep petals here, over here in the yellow, I could put something, I could have some totally different looking thing. Same with the cactus. I'm not showing you all this, all the advanced stuff you could do. I'm showing you the most basic, easy way to do it. So that you can try it out and you can discover cool new ways to make something awesome. Okay, I didn't know a flattened out sphere could make a really cool dragon tail looking thing like this. I didn't know that until today. So what will you know as you try out your things? I can't wait to see what you make and try to share them somehow. Thanks. Have a great rest of your day.